Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, we're gonna be planning on the Hobonichi Cousin. Today is Monday, January 22nd. I can't believe it. Weston shouted out last night, January's almost over. And I'm like, no, it's not. And yeah, no, it is. But that's okay. Um, January is weird. It's like that weird limbo month. But a lot of things that I've been listening to, like how we're meant to hibernate and we shouldn't be doing resolutions and things like that. It's like all these things are starting to kind of click in and I'm trying to give myself more grace. This is a time of just being cozy and, you know, um, maybe focusing inward a little bit more just in the sense of like, um, just relaxing and taking care of myself. Um, and then as we go into the spring, when things are blooming and things are really getting going again and I'm getting back outside and all that stuff, that's when, you know, maybe some of these resolutions that I've been thinking of and action plans start being made and acted on. Don't know if that makes any sense, but here we are. January is a very long month for me. I don't know why. It goes super, super slow and then boom, it's done. But it's been a chaotic morning already. It is like almost 12 o'clock and I'm just sitting down. Totally not what I planned for today. Um, I took the kids to school. I went to Target. I picked up an order. I went to the drugstore, picked up prescriptions. I was like, yeah, I came home, did my morning reset, had breakfast, got ready. And then I got a notification from Verizon that they're switching um, like an app. Like I can't use the Fios website to pay for my internet bill. I have to use the, the my Verizon. So I tried to do that, but it, it merged like it was, it, I don't know. Anyways, so I started chatting with somebody an hour and a half later, here I am trying really hard not to be frustrated. Um, merged an account with mine, but it's an old account that's not active anymore. And now I have to wait for them to unmerge it. I don't know, but it was very stressful. So deep breaths and lots of coffee and I should be fine. Okay, so I decided to go with this kit. I haven't used it yet. Um, it is the Be Bold kit from the Coffee Monster Co. I wanna say this was from her birthday, but I could be wrong. I know I've had it for a little while. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. Um, but like I said, I've been holding on to it for a bit. Um, I know it seems strange. I was kind of holding on to it for like spring, you know, that kind of thing. However, spring's very, very long time away from now. And it's gonna be like bright, and, it's bright and sunny today. And then I think we're gonna go back into like rain and yuck, but I kind of feel like with my morning, it was pretty stressful. This is really cheery and fun. And also um, I bought some new Tombos over the weekend. So we went to Michael's, Joe and I, we had like a day to ourselves. The kids were at my parents um, and I had something to return that he had got me for Christmas. So I got some Tombos and I actually got a sticker book, a Happy Planner sticker book. So if you are interested in seeing how I use this, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you're notified when we come out with something new. But I'll be using the Happy Planner stickers that I got in my Hobonichi Han this week. So stay tuned for that. But really, um, these colors just happen to match pretty darn well. So I'm going to be using these with this spread. I was really excited. Um, here is something though. So if you've been around the channel for a little bit, you know that I use like just a little Hobonichi notebook for my swatches and I don't mark them. I just swatch them out as I'm going to use them. And um, I'm like, this is just how I am. Okay. And I am like that. But here's the thing. I am going to be doing a swatching video because when to Michael's, and I thought I did really well. I'm like, well, I don't recognize these colors. And then this one was so pretty. So when I came home, I started looking at them again and these I do not have. So yay me. This one, 991. Oopsie, bought it, but I'm gonna probably return it um, and see if I can just exchange it but not until after I do a swatch book, because once I have that, I can put it into my purse and I can take it with me and I can just skim and make sure I don't actually have the color. I do it a lot, um, especially if I'm buying like packs of them on um, um, Amazon. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause because Joe is calling me. He's on the way to the dentist. I wanna make sure we ha he had the right dentist because we switched recently. So I have no idea what I was talking about before. I think I was saying that I was going to be doing my 
um, a swatching video. So hopefully stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, these colors work really well um, with this kit. So that's what we're going to be using. Um, I don't have washi. So what are we using for washi? That I'm not prepared for. So I might just use this because I have it hanging around. This is just the Emoti washi and it's pretty neutral. So maybe we use this or we can always just use my go-to, which is my grid washi. So we have those two options in front of us right now. Just checking to see, I have plenty on there. Okay, all right, so let's get to planning. I'm going to actually take, actually I don't need to. So, okay, deep breaths. <laughs> I'm like so much later than normal today, but that's okay. All right. I think I want to use this Be Bold for up here. Let's see. That's how I've been kind of doing things. I've been putting my glasses. I've been using a deco box to cover my like monthly view because I don't really need it. And that's ooh, okay. I'm already happy. See, I'm already happier. Deep breaths. I absolutely love these. They remind me of like hippies, <laughs> which I can relate to that. I feel like my past life, I was definitely at Woodstock, like the original one. Um, even though I did actually have opportunity to go to Woodstock 99, but I was not 18 in 1999. So my mom wouldn't let me go with my friends who were 18. And, um kind of glad I didn't go because that was the one where there was a lot of people got sick because of <clears throat> dehydration and all that stuff so it was a hot mess so sometimes things happen for a reason <laughs> okay Lent went a little squirrel there so how has my morning been you guys ask well let me tell you <laughs> so I had to call um Verizon because they um they have like an app for the phone. I don't know if I already said this. That's how like blah my brain is right now. But they have an app for the cell phone. If you have Verizon, um, you should know that you you would know this. So there's like um an app for I think it's like my FiOS. So you can use that for your cell phone. And then they have their my FiOS, I guess, for um Oh goodness, for internet and like cable and stuff like that. We do not have cable, we have internet with um, Verizon. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I don't usually do this many colors, but here we are guys. Um, so, I had to get my stuff. Hold on, what do we need? We need my ruler and my Energel Klena. If you are new here, I use the Energel Klena to make any lines in my planners. Um, and I have my ruler, obviously. Okay, so yeah, so we, I have one, you know, I have the home account and then I have the cell phone account. So I keep getting this warning message. Oh, this is not the right pen. Hmm, there we go. I keep getting this warning message saying that they are not going to, um, they're discontinuing the My Fios app. I'm like losing track of my days here. Here we go. And that I'm not gonna be able to, you know, have online access to my bill and payment and all that stuff. So I'm like, oh, and I've been kind of like brushing off the message because a while ago when we first signed up for the internet, we had had an internet account with them. We switched to another local provider, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we decided to not do that. Um, like once, you know, like they run like a special and then like, you know, it became like ridiculous. So. We switched back to Verizon because they were doing their special and part of their special was, um, um, I'm trying to blink here. I can't talk and do things at the same time. Affirmations. So part of their thing was to do, um, if you did internet, you got like a discount, kind of like a bundle thing. So when we did that, I tried to link the account and it was linking to the old account that was not active. So I abandoned that project. They confirmed that we were receiving the discount. Um, and I left it and I would just go and pay on the other one. It was fine. I 
actually I'm going to add to this. So let's pause that story for a second. I want to put in my vitamins. I'm trying to get better with taking my vitamins and I totally spelled it wrong. Whatever. <laughs> it's been a morning, guys. Um, anyways, so um, I decided to call them, but it was like a 38 minute wait time on hold. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't have time for that. So I decided to do the chat option and um, I was speaking with someone and they were like, oh, what did they tell me? Oh, well, this is what you have to do. And I'm like, yeah, but I can't. <laughs> so um, let's see, let's go with this color. We'll do this week. I don't have any important tasks that I need to get done this week. Um, so they said they had to connect me to the Fios people. I'm like, um, okay. So they connect me and that person was saying, she gave me the directions on how to do it. And I was like, yeah, no, it's saying that it's not a thing. Like it's saying I can't do it. So she's like, well, do you have a computer? And right now, yeah, we do have a desktop that is in my office, but I do not use that computer. I do not like that computer. And also my passwords are not saved in that computer. And I don't remember what I did five minutes ago. So I was like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't have a computer. Right. So, um, she told me to like download Google Chrome, which I didn't really want to do that either, but I managed to get into it on my iPad. So that was nice. So I got on I'm like, all right, I got on now what, um, I think this will fit. Oh, you know what? Let's take this off because I don't really have too many reminders this week. And I want to add this down here because it's cute. So I'm telling her that it won't let me merge the accounts. Finally, I figured out I merged the account. Guess what account I merged? Yeah, the old one. So I'm like, listen, this is an old account that is not active because I wish I owed you zero dollars right now. I mean, like I only owe one month, but still. <laughs> so she's telling me that she has to transfer me back to um, the cell phone people. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, oh, okay. So she transfers me back. I'm talking to this guy and this guy's like, all right, so you want me to take your cell phone number off of your bill with five other lines? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so I think he figured out what I needed to do. And I think he says, he says he fixed it. So we shall see if that actually is true or not. Um, it should happen in 24 hours, but that was, yeah, you know, that was just so much fun this morning. And I wish that sometimes, I, I just wish these things weren't very difficult. Like I don't understand why, why this needs to be so hard. <laughs> All right, so we're going to plan for the week. I love this plan for the week. All right, let's see. Checking, I've got messages, because I also, um, I'm gonna actually just put it here, like that, because this whole time was spent talking to Verizon. Um, and then we're gonna do one of these. I'm kind of trying to stay away from this green color since I don't really have the green in here um, for my markers, but maybe not, maybe we'll. Maybe we'll add them in. My stomach might growl if you can hear it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm actually kind of hungry. But yeah, and then I opened up my email today. And Spencer's been exposed to COVID. And it says the exposure date was today. So I'm kind of confused because that means somebody was in school sick. And it's like, why, guys? Why? So yeah. Anyways, how's your morning going? Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> I swear. Okay, so I've got some um, marking. I wanted to mark in when I plan on doing some planning life with Erin things. Tomorrow my kids have no school. Um, let's see. I need this booklet and let's see if I have a no school. I can't remember. It is a personal development day tomorrow where the teachers go and do some personal development. So that means no school for us, which Yay. Maybe I'll just use this emoji. Um, planning, adulting. I don't think I have anything for school. I don't usually, I just write it in. So 
All right, we're just gonna do like a little waving one just to mark it in. I would say that I would be sleeping in, but that's probably not happening. And that's okay, it's a weekday, it's all right. Although I do wish it was today that we had no school. I don't really know why it had to be tomorrow. Just like to keep us parents on our toes, I guess. But yeah, so she's had COVID exposure and I'm like, I'm so over it. <laughs> Let's see. No. School. Spencer is super excited. So I don't know if I mentioned this. So, all right. She, um, for, for Christmas, Santa brought her and Weston um, a Stanley, but not like the, um, like the Stanleys with the handle. If that makes sense. Like not like the one, I don't have my near me. Um, it was like a water bottle, more like a water bottle with a handle on the top. Santa must've thought that would be easier for the kids to carry around. But apparently Santa is like not paying a hundred percent attention to all the trends. Um, because Spencer, since Christmas, has been saying that she wants a Stanley like my Stanley, not as big, because I actually handed it to her. She almost fell down. Um, Spencer's small, <laughs> and the, the Stanley is much bigger. But, um, she's been like, you know, she came home the other day, and she was like, well, look what Bella, one of her friends, gave her, like, one of the, um, the straw covers she's like mine doesn't have a straw because hers it does but it's like the um like a thicker one like for a water bottle not like an actual straw um it has like a i don't know like a piece on the top of it anyways so she's like look she got me this so when i get my stanley and i'm like oh okay so it's funny because i was actually gonna buy a package on amazon for myself because i worry about I had seen, um, I think it was planning, like, planning, like, uh, planning with Elise. Jeez, I can't even speak. She did a, a reel, I think, or it was in her stories where it was showing like a spider in the Stanley. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, mm -mm. and she was really excited because she bought these covers, whatever. So I was thinking about it more in terms of Bo likes to, like, if I leave my water out, he likes to chew on the straw. So I have to like put it on the counter you know, and then I get worried that my cat's been like making out with my, <laughs> my straw. So, um, I'm trying to think, do I have anything this weekend? I don't think so. All right. So we're going to put down, I think as far as I know, we're doing groceries and all of the things on Wednesday. So I'm kind of nervous to put these down, but I did use my undo last time because I had to change that around a bit. Um, but anyways, so I was thinking about getting um, these straw covers, and then Spencer's been asking me for um, the Stanley, and I'm like, no. But I want to use that giant emoji. Hold on. Let's see. I ordered some market ones, and they should be coming in, I don't know, whenever it ships. But, oh, and I ordered a whole sheet of cars because I seem to be running low on cars, but this one will match. Um, anyway, so she had a Barbie set um, that she had gotten from one of my sister-in-laws for Christmas, and she hadn't opened it. It was like underneath the tree, and she got a couple of Barbie dolls. She asked for Barbies and stuff, so it wasn't like, you know, somebody just took a guess. She's going to be 10 this year. She still plays with her OMG dolls and... Um, all that stuff, actually, her and Joe play, and Joe just looks at me, and he's like, grr, and I'm like, hey, you're gonna miss this, that's what everybody keeps telling me, <laughs> so, um, she didn't open it, she didn't open up the Barbies, and, um, you know, it was one of those things where it's like, well, with Spencer, she doesn't open it right away, to me, that signals that she doesn't want to play not that she doesn't want to play with it I don't know how to describe it that she's not as into it maybe as she is with the other things that she opened um but she do I have blue in here no let's do the purple 
Um, so she didn't open it. And I said to her, you know, you can, you can, we can return this and you can get something you really want. And then she like got really nervous and really upset because she, um, she didn't want to make anyone feel bad. So then I had to sit there and I'm like, no, 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 listen. I was like, the whole thought process of gift giving is that, um, the person wants you to be able to enjoy and use your gift. They'd rather that than it just kind of like sit in the closet unopened, you know? So, um, she was debating it and thinking about it and she wasn't sure and kind of like ho-humming about it. Um, so I was talking to Joe and I'm like, I feel bad because she's, um, she feels really guilty. And her and I just had a conversation. She had gotten a couple of sweatshirts for me for Christmas that she loved. Um, and I have my washi down. Hmm. Hold on, let's put that down. I think I'm just gonna do this grid washi because I like it. So she didn't oh maybe I am running out. She didn't um she told me she liked them and then I picked it out for her to wear the other day, and then she was like, Well, the sleeves are kind of short, and we had already taken the tags off of it and all the things. And I'm like, listen, Spencer, I'm like, you need to tell me. If you don't like it, she's like, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. It's like, listen, you're not going to hurt my feelings. What hurts my feelings is now that I thought you were going to have like these two sweatshirts and now you don't want to wear them. And I feel like I have to go out and get you some other sweatshirts um, that you, so you can be, you know, warm and stuff like that. But I have to actually spend a little bit more money because now I can't return these. And unfortunately, I'll probably end up giving them to my niece. But so I just had this conversation with her. And... I was telling Joe about it and I was telling him how, um, I think I put that on too tight. So he, so I was telling him about it and I was like, so, you know, she's very torn about, you know, saying that she doesn't like the Barbie and she's, you know, she want to hurt anybody's feelings. So he said to me, he's like, well, why don't you present it in this way? So I said to her, hey, listen, we'll return the Barbie and you know, the Barbie things and will, um, sorry guys, I am pulling the heat wave ones out and I'll tell you why in a second, but I saw them and I don't want to lose them. Um, so I told her we could return the, um, this, the Barbie stuff and then we'll just get her, we'll get her the Stanley instead. So it's about the same amount of money, like $30 and then the Stanley's 35 for the 30 ounce. So she was really excited about that. So that made me happy. Um, so girls getting her Stanley and that's coming in tomorrow. <clears throat> and I'm okay with that because this way she is, um, she's happy. She's not feeling guilty. And then I can let my sister-in-law know that she ended up getting that instead. Um, so that's good. So that's coming in tomorrow. What was, where was I going with that? Oh, I want to put this down so we can mark it. Oh, and also we're going to be dyeing Spencer's hair. Let me see if I have hair emoji. We tried to do it. I think I mentioned it in my, whoops. I think I mentioned it in my video last week. She, um, she wanted me to do her hair. Uh, like a, it was like a periwinkle color, pretty color. Um, probably look good in my hair because my hair's got a lot of gray in it. So it would probably pick up in the, the gray and the white. But, um, I did it in her hair and it came out like more like an ash, like aster hair. So, um, let's see, let's do new hair. So I got some pink. So we're going to do pink. So I'm going to write that in there because we're going to do our hair tomorrow and let's see anything else while I'm looking through here I don't think so okay let's move this off to the side and I'll probably decorate a little bit on Saturday but I want to put some of these things down all right so I pulled out my heat wave ones because I am having hot flashes again and night sweats and I want to document it um, I probably am going to come up with like some sort of a chart or add it in somehow. I don't know. I also want to really focus on some habit trackers for myself. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. So if you've been around, I'm reading, um, or listening to the Atomic Habits. I'm almost done. 
I'm actually just going to put this down here because this is the night that I had them. Um, and I'm going to put this in this book. Okay. So I've been reading or listening to The Atomic Habit. And um, I like how he just says, you know, to get your brain, like, to feel, like, secure. Because we're always in this, like, looking out for bad happenings. Um, and then trying to avoid that. So one of the things is to just do one thing. So like I want to wake up and go into the bathroom and like brush my teeth and wash up and then um, come out here and like have a little bit of coffee and not watch TV, but like be awake enough where I can sit at my desk and maybe start journaling like not too long after I wake up. But instead, I do the same thing every day. Let's do this guy here, he's cute. And I keep telling myself in the morning, I am going to X, Y, and Z, and then I don't. And I feel, I feel like I'm failing myself, and I'm tired of that. So um, his suggestion is just to do one thing. Like, if you want to work out in the morning, like, lay your clothes out. So it makes it easy, you know? And then, um, or you could just put your shoes on and go for a two-minute walk. But, you know, set a timer, and then eventually, because you're already doing it, you'll continue, that kind of thing. So, based on that theory, I decided to get up and just go into my bathroom this morning. And I was super proud of myself because I did. I didn't brush my teeth or anything. I just went to the bathroom, turned the light on. Like, that's all I did. Um, and then I ended up, like, washing my face. But I didn't, like, brush my teeth and all that stuff because little by little, we're going to get there. So, I was pretty proud about that. But I want to have some sort of a chart. Like, this is based on the Miracle Morning. Um, so, I kind of want to, like, merge the two, if that makes sense. Um, or maybe use my sleep tracker like down in this corner or something and then make another tracker here and move my this week to here. I don't know, I'm kind of like thinking about um, changing my standard layout a little bit um, just to be able to track more things. Okay, so I got me time and I've got sleep. Okay trying to make sure I'm getting the proper vitamins. I'm trying to do some vitamin supplements and things like that because, um, yeah, I just don't like the way I've been feeling lately. So it's time to start taking better care of myself. All right, so we have karate and dance tomorrow. At least I hope we have dance tomorrow. We didn't have it last week because of the weather. And then Joe and I want to sit down and kind of go over some numbers. We've been kind of bad about doing our budget meetings. It's been kind of like a copy and paste and like the copy and paste is still not working. So we have to come back together again and figure it out. We have karate and trash day. I actually have to call for an extra pickup. Um, let's just write an extra pickup. My mail's hair. <clears throat> We've got some things in the basement, um, that got ruined when we get the water in. So I want to make sure I get that out of the house. Um, but it's a lot. I don't think it's all going to fit in the garbage. Okay. So then we have Spencer Stanley. She's very excited was actually supposed to be here today. I told her, you know, it might not be here tomorrow because there's snow where it's coming from. So there could be delays. So that's why it's not coming. So like it was supposed to. Spencer's hair. She'll be so excited. Okay. So currently I am filming. So let's write down, um, Hobonichi cousin. And then I plan on filming my Hobonichi Han. So it's been strange, like trying to get it in the lineup, if that makes sense. So I've been like kind of planning in that planner, like towards the end of the week. And that's not good. That's why I plan on this one at the beginning of the week, because I need to see everything and then touch base. So um, I'm going to be planning today in my Hobonichi Han, because I think out of all of my planners, my weeks is the one that can be done like Tuesday, because it's just really an ongoing list and then some trackers. And I don't do a market order until Tuesday night anyways. So we're going to try it that way. So tomorrow 
I'm going to film my Hobony Two Weeks. And then I have to do some edits. Now, this video that I'm filming right now normally goes up on Monday, but I think tonight my midweek check is going to go in because something happened last week. Oh, I know what it was. We went out on a date on Friday night and I completely forgot that I had a video to put up. And then Saturday, my parents came over because typically I like to have everything already up and done so I can just hit like go and like make it live. Um, but I fell behind. So the next thing I know, I had my Han that I filmed and I put that up last night. Um, and then tonight will be my midweek check-in. And then tomorrow night will be this video. Um, so this will be up. As you're seeing this, it'll hopefully, I think, be Tuesday the 23rd. As far as that is right now. But when I open up the Han and start looking at things, it could change. Um, so if you're seeing me on the 22nd, hi. If you're seeing me on the 23rd, hi. <laughs> um, okay. It's been a little all over the place. I think it's been a little bit harder for me to... Um, like when things change, uh, like Friday night, I wasn't thinking like, I don't know what I was thinking. We don't normally go out on Friday night. So I wasn't thinking and I didn't prepare and I took some time to just chill on Friday when I totally would have had time to do it. But anyways, that is in the past. <laughs> All right. So this morning, um, I just want to write in, let's see, didn't sleep well. I really didn't. And I'm pretty tired. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and then we did breakfast. Weston had the um, <clears throat> the egg bake with the sausage and the peppers. He loved it. I was really excited for him. And then I went to Target. And I went to CVS. Boom, boom, boom. And I did my morning reset. Just easier than writing down dishes and made beds and stuff like that. And I was on the phone with Verizon for this entire time. <laughs> well, not on the phone. I guess I was texting. Okay. And then when I'm done doing all this, I need to do some laundry, which not a lot. I've been pretty proud of myself. I've been a little bit better with it. I've noticed, and I don't know if I've said this, but I have noticed that if I go downstairs in the basement and fold the clothes as soon as they come out of the washing machine, I mean the dryer, um, they get done and they get put away. So I don't like to ruin a good thing, but it's been really good. And it's funny because I watched a reel on Instagram today where somebody said that they have been folding their clothes as soon as the dryer is done and it's been a game changer. And I would have to agree with that statement like a thousand percent. For some reason, if you bring the laundry basket upstairs and put it in my living room, it's going to sit there for five to seven business days and eventually just be emptied because we've picked through it. Um, but if I fold it downstairs, then I bring it right up and I put it away. So it's been nice. So I have to do, let's see, laundry. I have one load to fold. And then I have one load that I need to wash, dry, and fold. Dinner. What is for dinner tonight? Oh my gosh. Did I even plan dinner tonight? I don't think I did. What's dinner? All right. We have to figure out dinner. So we're going to write a big dinner so I don't forget to plan out dinner. I do this thing. Uh, I'm kind of like this for, um, for a lot of things. Like I focus, I hyper focus on something and then I drop the ball with everything else. So I've been hyper-focused on breakfast and lunch that I'm kind of dropping the ball on dinner. I haven't, we don't buy takeout or anything, um, but I don't really like to do like, um, like grilled cheese or something like that. For dinner, I try to make dinner every night, um, but I kind of been dropping the ball a little bit. So I've got to figure out what's for dinner. I think I was planning on pizza, but that's not going to work tonight because I did not take the dough out to defrost yesterday. So, pizza will have to be tomorrow. Where is, I need my Amnivig, because I need to mark this down. And then what did I do with my shopping emojis? Did I pull them out? I thought I pulled it out here, there, and then I put it back in. I was correct. Get this. And I need to do my Amnivig. I picked that up this morning, I was very proud of myself. All right, so we'll put this here. And then we'll do 
let's do this yellow one. And I plan on doing it on Wednesday. Okay, well, that's my little reminder. And what else do we have going on? It's kind of like a boring week this week. Kids don't have school tomorrow. Weston has his um, hoops for hearts today. Let's see. Distance learning. Nope. Personal development. Yeah, that's it for this week. Okay. So I'm going to do another decorative box here. And then we'll probably save these. Let me see. Why do I feel like there's something on Saturday and Sunday? I don't know. I don't have anything. I'm going out on a mom date next Friday on the 2nd. All right, so let's do, we'll make it interesting. Let's do, whoops, this creative. This is when I've been doing most of my meal prep in the morning. So I've been prepping breakfast in the mornings while we're kind of like cooking the other food. So let's do meal prep. And then on Saturday, we'll do a decorative box. So let's do, I like this one. Put a little more purple over here on this side of the page. So we have this purple. We can do, oh look, see he's painting. Oh, and that's what he's painting. Do we wanna do it that way? We'll do it like this. Cute. All right, I like that. And then the rest of this, I think I'm going to save. Usually I do like to-do list, but I think what I want to do is I want to like write in, not necessarily what I'm eating, but like that I remember to take my vitamins, you know what I mean? So maybe, let's try. I did do it there, but let's do, um, I'm thinking like, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, so like maybe I can do like a little uh, Monday, Tuesday. We're just gonna like try this. Saturday and Sunday. <clears throat> Let's get that Energel Klenna and my ruler if I can find it. Over here, oops. And like maybe do like a little tracker over here, just like as a tester. Um, and then we can do, I don't have a lot of writing space, but maybe we can write in like, um, brush teeth. So that my initial for that, um, five minute workout, five minute workout and, um, let me see my vitamins, even though I have it there. All right. I'm going to wait on that, but I think... This is something that will be helpful. I'm just kind of like working it out. Sorry, you guys are like working it out with me. All right, I think I got everything that I need for this week. Um, yeah, okay. I don't want to do too much more for, for my Wednesday, just in case I have to take it, um, take it off because I'm not sure if we're doing Wednesday or Thursday. I think it's going to be Wednesday this week. As far as I know, nothing's changing there. And then if I get everything done, she asked me if I run a couple of errands with her on Thursday or Friday. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, okay. I think that's everything guys. I like how this came out. I really like when I fill it in and like, it like looks all like nicely filled in. So always on Monday, I'm always like, mm, I feel like I need to put more stickers down, but, um, I really don't. I do want to put in this update planner though because I don't want to forget. I, part of what happened last week was I kind of forgot. Um, so I think I'm going to kind of put that right here and then mark in planner update. And then we'll do maybe pen swatch. We'll do it that day. It's tomorrow, like I said, the kids are home tomorrow and usually I can get in like one video where they're fine. I don't like to take much time than that because you know, mom guilt, so um, yeah. Okay, and really it doesn't affect them, it only affects me. <laughs> okay, so if you have stuck around this long, thank you, thank you. I know we're all busy, so thanks so much for taking time out of your day 
to come and spend it with me. Um, I really appreciate it. If you are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now so you don't forget and then hit that little bell notification so you're notified anytime we come out with something new on the channel and there's always something new happening around here. So definitely want to be notified for that. And if you like this video or any other video that we've put out on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and we really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much in advance. And until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.